Hey, what's up everyone? I think I'm gonna start doing a couple more of these vlog style videos where I kind of just go over stuff that's going on in my normal life. I feel like that'll help me keep track of what's going on as well. <laughs> so last week, my buddy Clifton over at Stone Creek Sound hit me up about doing some potential session work. Today is Wednesday. I have not played this track at all. I've had it for probably about three or four days, uh, really listening to it and trying to figure out all the nuances of it. Most of the time I do my session work in here in the studio, but for this instance, he requested that I go and record at his physical location. And he's only about 30 minutes from me here, so I don't mind making out the drive. I am limited on transportation, so I do not travel with my full DW kit, much less would I be super comfy with that thing getting dinged up. Um, I have taken it to his place before, but for this kind of one-off single that we're gonna be doing together, I think I'm just gonna take my pedals and cymbals and maybe my in-ear rig just to hear my triggers and that'll be about it. So I'll kind of be rolling with the session kit that they have set up already and then just trying to see what stands and stuff they have on their rack for me to use. So today I will be going over the song a few times, trying to really nail it down and hopefully I'll be ready for our session on Friday, uh, which is two days away. Today's the only rehearsal time I'll actually get with the song before the session, so Let's hope it goes well. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try running through this song real quick a couple times. I'm just gonna let you guys check this out. I don't know, maybe we'll have a couple bloopers, uh, stick drops, things like that. Uh, so <laughs> enjoy. Maybe I should have warmed up. I'll do that real quick. <laughs> and if you guys are curious about what the warm up I'm doing right now, there's a link to the video right here. Alright, I'm feeling much more warmed up now. There's just a couple small spots that I need to work out. Mostly like fill transitions into the verse, uh, that triplet groove thing and then as well as just like the exact foot and hand placements for those verses. Um, it's a little sloppy. The There's like a quick hit that goes right behind the hand that I'm having trouble nailing every time. So let's see how tight I can get it. And then we'll have to wrap up for today. I have another four songs I need to record so I can't spend too much time on it. So let's go ahead and try that again. Five, six, seven, eight.
All right, that does it on that one. I feel pretty okay about it. There's still a couple small things that I need to address, but for the most part, I think the song's basically all the way there. There's just a couple small transitions I need to clean up. I can just kind of make some mental notes as I listen to the track and make those adjustments as needed. So we'll just see how it goes. Hope for the best. <laughs> couple backpacks or a backpack, symbol bag, and in-ear case. And that's all I'm gonna roll with for this session. All right, just got to Stone Creek. My buddy Cliff's running a little behind, but this is the kit I'll be using today. It's Mapex Saturn, I believe. Um, super nice space. Very nice studio. I'm gonna get all set up here real quick. set up. Assortment of the usual stuff I use. HHX Evolution Mini China. 14 inch hats. 18 inch crash. 10 inch HHX splash. 19 legacy. Power bell and holy china. My ACD Unlimited. Double pedals down there. So that's what I'm gonna roll with today. So this is my buddy Cliff. What's up everybody? <laughs> He's the co-owner. Co-owner, right? Yes. Of Stone Creek. Yeah, he's the co-owner of Stone Creek with Mac Damon. A super nice space. We're actually working at a Clifton or a Max room right now, so this is his setup. And uh, I don't know if you want to just quickly go over kind of the studio, your history, yeah, some process. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm Clifton Miles. You know, one of the co-owners here at Stone Creek Sound. I also um, uh, run a company <laughs> called uh, Tone Crate out of this studio and uh today we are going to be working with a newer band from san antonio called monolithic magnetar uh we just did a single for them a couple months back that got released very recently and um yeah this is round two for us but all right we'll catch you guys in the drum room
All right, so take four was it. A uh, couple small punch-ins uh, from take two, I think, uh, but for the most part, it was take four. So I'm just gonna grab a couple samples for Cliff, and we're gonna get out of here. All right, well, that is a wrap for today. Just finished up at Stone Creek, and we managed to do the song within four takes in about an hour, something like that. It's kind of hard to tell. We got a little bit of a late start today, and that was after sitting down to listen through a couple of the takes and spots. So just a couple things. If you're interested in doing session drumming yourself or want to be a drummer, some key things that are very important is one, be prepared, know your parts well, and know what you're trying to do. Be flexible. I couldn't take my kit with me, so I played on their studio kit and just try to make the best out of it, you know, and it, it worked out and just be easy to work with you know i've been working with clifton for a very long time many years now so for us this isn't anything new it's very easy for us to just kind of get rolling and we know how to work off of each other's vibes and he tried to stop me after take three but i felt like i could do take four better so the final take that we used was mostly take four with like two fills from take two i think yeah that wraps up a day as a session drummer i hope you guys dug this video uh, if you want to see more stuff like this be sure to comment below be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next week goodbye <laughs>